Hey, you guys. What's up, Team Rainbow and Rainbow Kids? I hope you guys are doing wonderful on this Wednesday. I hope you're working to fulfill your dream, your passion, and your purpose, and um, just walk in the light that you have. And I just want to say I love you and in a thing you do about it. All right. First off, I want to start by saying make sure you click that thumbs up button for your boy. Make sure you comment because I do. I promise you I do comment back. Share this video on all your social media sites and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, at Melvin Tay One Tuma. All right, my loves, you know what to do. Join the Rainbow family. All right, so this topic is going to be um, black women who date um, black men and don't realize they're gay. What What is that about? Um, okay, um, I have a girlfriend. She's black, and she dated a guy for a year. And she said this is before she knew me. So you know, because I'd have been told, "Look here, he gay." Um, but. <coughs> Excuse me. She said she dated a guy for a whole year. You know, she stayed at his place. Um, they were sexually active, intimate, everything. And she didn't realize he was gay. And when she told me this, I was kind of like, mm, I was hearing her. I was really hearing her. But maybe I wasn't listening. Maybe I wasn't comprehending because I don't know. I just, I just can see it. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I just can see it because... I don't know how you can be in a relationship with somebody for a year and not know. Um, especially when you're seeing them the house and you're, and you're intimate with them. I think what happens a lot of times with black women, um, they will see the signs. But because they're so in love with somebody, they will overlook the signs. And they'll tell, they'll tell not only other people, but most importantly, they'll tell themselves that it's something else. Because there are certain signs you got to look for. Like, for example... And this and this is going a little bit off top. This is to any black woman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a little tea. I'll spill a little tea tea in there. We're going to sip a little tea right now. Um, let's say something to you, ladies. A lot of these guys who um are have tats and who are so masculine. Um, they um the reason why why there's there's a little thing goes goes that goes on the gay community that says no fats, no fans. A lot of gay guys um who are masculine want to be with other gay masculine men because when they go out, they can be with their um. Their, their friend, they smash them the low, and nobody will know. Yes, that's the reason why they like masculine gay men. And a lot of times, um, the reason why um, is because, and this is not the facts, I'm telling you a true story. I, I know of a situation where there was two girls, and they were dating guys that were friends, and come to find out, both the guys were dating each one of the girls, come to find out, every time the guys were hanging out, they were sleeping together on the low. Hello, hello, ladies. A lot of these guys will have their masculine friends out there, and and you would think that their friends are just hanging out. You would think that they were just smoking or they're doing something. And really, actually, a lot of times they're smoking. They 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 they're licking lollipops. Yes, they are. They're um smashing on the low. And this is not no facts. This is not nothing I gotta research. This is stuff that I know that is true. Stuff that I've seen. I've seen it with my own eyes. And I'm just going to tear. And a lot of times, ladies, um, another thing, if your guy always wants to have sex with you always in the anal area and never wants to have sex with you in the vajayjay area, ladies, watch that. Just watch that because that right there is a, um, that's a red flag. That's just a red flag right there. I'm saying that's a red flag right there um, because, you know, it's different. Some guys do want to do the anal, but if, but if, but if, but if, but if, but if he always want to do the anal, hmm, I think he wants to play for um, another team. I'm just saying. Um, and and you know, but I just I don't know, y'all. I I don't know what y'all think. I just don't. I just don't see myself dating nobody. I don't see how somebody could date somebody for a year and just not know. I feel like a lot of times. What yeah? What do you guys think? I just feel like a lot of times we overlook stuff when we're in love. I think. But um, I I I really believe because after me and my friend haven't talked, she started saying stuff and she was like. Male, I thought stuff on the low, but I was just overlooking it. And she actually came to that realization when we were talking that maybe that she did overlook things. So to a lot of my black women, if you have that instinct to where you think, hmm, maybe my man's gay, maybe my man's bisexual. I'm not saying he is, but look into it, boo. Because I don't want you to be a year down the line saying, oh my God, I was dating this guy and he was sleeping with his best friend. Because I have, it's not no facts, not opinion. I've seen it happen not once, not twice, not three, but maybe more than five times. Yes, I have from the spill of tea. But um, yeah, I just, I, I just don't know. And to all the guys right there, this is my thing. Um, it's 2018. If you're gay, be gay. If you're bisexual, be bisexual. Walk in your truth. It's all right. And 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 I don't like it. If you're bisexual, let a let a woman decide and have the right 
and the power to know whether she wants to be with a guy who is bisexual. I'm just saying. All right, you guys. I don't know really know where that video went, but hey, I'm just trying to just give it a time for my team, Rainbow and Rainbow Kids. I love you guys. Have an um, awesome Wednesday. Bye.